Hi, it's Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look at an unboxing of Heroes of Normandy from the Lock and, Lo Lock and Load Tactical System by Lock and Load Publishing. Obviously not to be confused with another game called Heroes of Normandy, spelled in the French manner, but you're going to miss the joy of me uh, taking the shrink wrap off this one because unfortunately the microphone I was using uh, died halfway through the video and I'm having to reshoot this, so if you like shrink wrap, Peeling. I'm sorry, you're out of luck. So we're going to open this, take a look, see what you get in the game. Brand new. <clears throat> First thing it comes with is a certificate of authenticity that shows this is the uh, premier supporter edition. Uh, this is number 107 to 421, signed by all the uh, the members of the team. Nice little nice little add-on for. Uh, I don't know that I'd frame it, but just keep it with the game. So one thing that's cool if you own Heroes of the Pacific is that this now includes the uh, Core Rules 4.1. Uh, current versions of Heroes of the Pacific is 4.0 uh, and was listed as a Heroes of the Pacific book, even though it really was the Lock and Load Tactical Rules. So this is actually the Lock and Load Tactical World War II era, 1930 to 1959, Core Rules Manual. Beautifully made. It's a, uh, it's a square binding instead of a just folded you know paper stapled uh, it's actually a bound book very nice like a kind of like a, a baseball program or to some sporting event beautifully illustrated uh, fully illustrated large print uh, which is going to be probably help some of us older guys um, and maybe some younger guys full color this thing runs about Oh, 65, 67, 68, about 70 pages. Um, lots of charts and references. Again, this is for all the games using the lock and load tactical system. This is the new 4.1 rules. You get this booklet with it. Then comes the module rules and scenarios. Booklet. This is another nice, nicely made book. Uh, well, it's also not uh, fold over. It's got a full wraparound cover. Very good quality, very, uh, it's coated, it's plastic, shiny coating. This, <clears throat> as expected, has the order of battle setup instructions for the various scenarios uh, using the uh, classic World War II art here. Uh, there's one you'll this is going to be a real delight. I'm not very familiar with this system. Ooh, now that picture looks familiar. Um, not really familiar with the system, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like a, a very engaging system. So this comes with about 30 scenarios listed here in the table of contents. And this book is almost 90 pages long. So you got a lot of, a lot of value here. Now we've got a skill reference chart. It's a little larger than Heroes of the Pacific in that it will fan out. Again, they went to larger print on this, and it's two-sided. So it's not like it's something you can just pin to your wall while you're playing, but this gives what the heroes' various skills are, uh, things they can do. So that's cool. Again, the cardstock is very nice on this. Very, very good quality. I mean, it's kind of thin for, for weight, but it's coated for durability, I and mean, it's as good as any thick cardstock I've ever seen. Like that, <clears throat> reference card for ammo and targets, and weapons, rules for those, sequence of play reference, and good quality from the cardstock. Charts, player aid card, it's one of these, got your terrain modifiers, Description of the various uh, accessory counters. Again, excellent quality. There's only one of those, though, so you'll have to share that if you're playing two player. I will be playing solo, so it's not a big deal to me. Rule reference card. Nice, nicely laid out summary of the various rules for the different situations you may be facing. Lots of iconography. There's a legend on here to help you figure out what you're looking at. Uh, but yeah, that should be pretty cool too. Little reference card. I love the artwork. I love the minimalistic artwork. Instead of trying to be too 
um, detailed in the art. It's it's evo evocative. It's suggestive of the different period. It's very very nice. It's going to show on the counters too. Uh, turn track. Some uh, reminders here. Boxes for casualties. Um, so I think this will come into play in all the missions. <clears throat> Two dice. Nothing special. One's green. One's white. And they roll. All right. Now here's one of the cool things. This is the premier edition. So it's going to have the larger map. So here's the standard size maps. As you see, the graphics very nice. This is all taking place on the uh, Western Front with Normandy. So you got some towns. Obviously, will probably be a Pegasus Bridge scenario. Uh, very nice. Very very nice uh, situation. This one looks like uh, somebody's been playing Agricola on the map. So these are great. So these are perfect, perfectly functional. Uh, very, that, again, that nice coated, coated glossy plastic. They're geomorphic, so you can assemble them the different ways you need to for the different missions. Although that one looks kind of weird, the water going right into the road. But I'm sure they don't have a layout for that. However, now we get into the good stuff. Bags. The X maps being the premier edition, they also include the X maps, they call them, which are extra large. Same map, same situation. Here's 18, here's 18, just much, much bigger, probably about 40% bigger. So you can fit the, the more counters in there without stacking them. You can fiddle around, you can see terrain a lot better with the X maps. I know I'll be using the X maps pretty exclusively, unless it's a too large for the table to kind of piece some of these together and then I may have to use the smaller ones, but really nice. Beautiful art. Love having the large size maps. And you get all those. Now these you can order. If you didn't order it with the game, you can add these online. And I think they're adding them for other games too, uh, printing the larger maps. Same same excellent quality cardstock, just uh, just larger. Now we get to the counters. One thing that's <clears throat> nice about these reissues uh, from Lock and Load is that they've redone the counters and instead of being your standard, uh, I'm not sure what the phrase is, um, I'm, lo I'm losing it. These are these are die cut, so they uh, are preformed, they're pre rounded, they're beautiful art, very well centered. I'm glad they've improved the font on them. Uh, one of the things, one of the problems with some of the earlier games is that they use this, they still use it up here at the title, with this Bajas font. That's very ugly to read on counters, but they've uh, they've improved that. These are really gorgeous. They're good thickness. you got one inch and looks like five eighths inch counters. Uh, they pop right out. They are pre-rounded, so you don't have to do any corner rounding on them. Uh, they're well aligned, and they've got a, they've got a nice kind of like a chip feel to them. I mean, they're pretty sturdy. They like a nice sound, so, you know, they're not super thick. I mean, you can't, you know, let your toddler run around and chew on them, but uh, they, uh, they're going to work really nice. Um, you can see how on the, uh, it's a large counter, but how on the X maps, they're going to move around really, really nice. And really they slide very good on this coated cardstock, too. So with Heroes of Normandy, there are six counter sheets, put them in later, so you got your general tokens, you got more vehicles, you've got your units, lots of fun counters, Axis and allies there, got some more allies, and I guess we've got some elite units here for the Axis. Uh, Oh yeah. yeah, Colonel 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 Kerner, Sergeant Reiner, Colonel Bogner, Sergeant Rint. Anyway, this is a this is a nice little package. If you don't have it and you like the West Front of Europe, um, I think this is definitely one you're going to want to get. A lot of missions. Uh, Heroes of the Pacific uh, has ten missions. This has thirty thirty missions in it. So. Uh, there you have it. That's what's in the box. I look forward to getting into this system uh, very soon. And 
giving you a full review. But uh, that's what's in the box. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.